Elizabeth Sorrell, you've been going around for the last 12 months because it was the 24th of February that the election happened last year, like and here today, the 24th of February 2018, you, you take on the mantle. Congress is about giving the organisation its opportunity to express its views and, and an opportunity for us to review where we actually are. And like we have the workshops on a Friday afternoon and then we have the motions on a Saturday and we obviously give the annual financial report to the membership as well. So all in all, it ran smoothly. Sometimes you will get big issues, but this year was one where we didn't. I'm forming this club committee and I'm putting quite experienced people on it and I want them to engage with the clubs and see can we help their needs and make life easier for people on the ground. I'm not saying we have a whole lot of money or anything to throw like that, but I think if people feel they're being listened to and what they've to say has been brought on board and it may influence our thinking up here and how we approach some of our developments going forward. I'm the first person outside of England and Ireland to be elected to the management committee of the GA or to be elected as a trustee. You see my club in New York are, are very proud of the Sligo Football Club um, and, the, and the New York board as well and it's a great acknowledgement I suppose of a lot of the work that's being done outside of Ireland by units of the GA across the world not just in New York you know, or not just in America. The relationship between the GA has to be you know it has to be very very strong for, for the GPA to achieve our mission. Uh, and we've been very, very lucky with Park as Art Stewart. He, he was crucial to us getting recognition in 2010 for that first agreement between the GPA and the GAA. His support was probably what pushed it uh, over the line at the time. Since then, the relationship has st strengthened in, in multiples. The great thing about Egan is he's overseeing change, which is important, especially the change in the relation to the hurling and football championships. I think it's going to bring a fantastic freshness to both competitions and we can look forward to very, very exciting games. Also, the fact that the championships are being compacted, which means there's six extra weeks available for club fixtures as well. That's very important. I think they've left a very strong, stable organisation, participation, attendances of matches like I mean the organisation is in good root health they took on challenges they tried to reform the championship it didn't work the first time but they had the courage to come back and get it through the second time. It has been an absolute privilege and an honour to view firsthand the tremendous work that all of you and all our units carry on. More than anything else as president it has been the warm welcome that I have received. I estimate that I have visited close to 500 clubs in the last three years. And they epitomise absolutely everything that we represent. They provide an outlet to our communities that it is absolutely impossible to put a price on. We are a community association and our clubs are at the heart of our communities. Family is the binding glue of society and our GA units are built on family ties, connections, relationships, friendships. The family atmosphere permeates the GA at every level and it is strengthening. Milo Buyuk is the Karja, come and look last girl, good job.